Oh yes, it has returned. Welcome to the second series of Youth Squad Legend! <laughs> so, who am I this time? I am Fleetwood Town and I am in the year 2020. Fabrice Mwamba has left the Chesterfield job and had had a year off. He's had relaxation, he's had cups of drink on the beach, he's been chilling, he's been getting laid and all that shit. And now he's back with a brand new rap. He's managing Fleetwood Town and we're going to get him to the Premier League. And hopefully we're going to see them lift the Champions League. Now obviously the good thing about us being in 2020 is that, well, there'll be loads of U Squad Legends available to us. And Fleetwood Town has a decent enough transfer budget and wage budget. They're a pretty rich club. So we'll give an introduction to the people that are actually in the Fleetwood Town team at the moment. I haven't actually had a look at this, so it'd be nice to see who we've actually got at the club. Goalkeeper, we got Scott Davis of 63 overall. Handling goal. All his goalkeeper stats are in the orange. We got Connor McLaughlin. I hope that's how you say it. Sprint speed of 80. He will. He's alright. He's a real player. I don't really want to keep real players, but he'll do for the first season, I think. Ty Bolt Darbo. Now, this guy's 5 foot 7, so I don't think he should be right centre back. In fact,. I think they should switch. Tybalt Darbo, he is a youth squad player, youth pool player, regen from FIFA, whatever you want to call it. He's pretty diabolical, isn't he? All his skill attributes, well, except the standing and slide tackler in the yellow. Ugh. Renault Salin, that he's all right. He'll be he'll be useful for the first year. Six foot two, 65 overall. We've got strength at 68. Heading accuracy 69. Scott Ellington needs to be out of the team quickly. We need a new left back. Mark Hughes, centre mid. He's good at ball control. Short passing at 70. Decent player. He will be staying for the first season. Gerard Kinsella. Very good centre mid. Long pass at 70. Short pass at 73. Shot power at 75. So that guy, that guy can hit the ball. Scott Mattison, 60 overall. Short pass of 69. The centre mids are not that bad, are they? I'll be looking at other positions to strengthen before I think about the centre mids. Mark Douglas, 57 overall. He's a centre mid. Why is he playing right wing? He's six foot one. He's diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. He's a centre mid and his short pass is 61. Ooh. Alex Tichnar, real player, don't want him. He's only 60 overall anyway. Andrew Mangan, the exact same, he's a real player, I don't want him. Chris Maxwell, real player, don't want him. Andre Borna, centre defensive mid of 21, 6 foot, only 56 overall. His physical attributes are not too bad. Jason Simpson, right back, 52 overall. Orange physical attributes, uh, terrible skill attributes. Mitchell Power, actually he looks pretty decent, doesn't he? Six foot six. He's only a fifty-six overall uh, centre back, but fucking six foot six. You just have to have that high in your defence. Let's put Power on for Darbo, and McLaughlin can play right back again. Mark Buddle looks good as well. 18 years old, 5 foot 10, 5 star week 4, only 2 star skill moves, but that doesn't matter. Physical attributes all good. Skill attributes finishing at 57, so finishing is poor, but he's he's a fucking regen, so might as well play him instead of Titch, no? David Tomlin, horrible. Circum, horrible. Sears, horrible. Eagles, wait, I'm not even looking at these. These are just... Uh, Clayton may be alright. 
55 centre attacking mid. No, 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 that's poor. Five foot four as well. Ugh, look at these, 46 overalls. Ugh, get them away from me. I was managing 90 overall players. And what do you give me? 40 overall players? What the fuck is this? So, it is that time. I can't wait. Let's get some good young players. I'm thinking free agents. Because I know that there's loads of regen free agents on this. Let's put the wage to about maximum of £5,000. Let's get some decent players in. Joe Sadler looks very, very decent. Sprint speed good. Acceleration good. Stamina good. He's a very nicely balanced player. Slide tackle 76. Standing tackle 78. Because he's a wing back, he can't even be short. But he's not. He's at six foot one. Oh, be mine. Just be mine. We got 16,000, so hopefully we can get a few players with that. £5,000, three years, crucial first team player. Come to Fleetwood, join the revolution. Jamie Olsop, 18 years old, 71 overall. He's very, very quick. 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. It doesn't really matter about anything else. I'm pressing the wrong fucking analog button, stick, thing. Five star weak foot. Five star skill moves. His defensive and attacking work rate's low, but who fucking cares? We need Jamie Alsop. £3,000 for four years. Crucial first team player. Join us. Join us. So this guy's Hoannes Blasvich. Um, he's German, obviously, because I've just pronounced his W as a V. 5 foot 11, weak foot's terrible for a striker, but he's the best striker that we can get, honestly. His acceleration's good, he's 5 foot 11, as I've just said. Uh, finishing of 71, I think it's a no brainer. We should go for him. A Fry A Shong, fuck, what a name. A very, very good player, obviously. 70 and 18 years old. Vision at 77. You definitely need that as a centre mid. I did say that I weren't looking for a centre mid at the moment, but this guy has everything, doesn't he? I mean, short pass at 80. Short pass at 80. So he wants £3,000 for four years. And I'll add that he's a crucial first team player. That'll be it for now, anyway. We shall start selling these players. We shall sell the players that we don't need anymore. So, we got a goalkeeper in Davis. He needs to be added to the transfer list. We got a striker in Mangan. Yes, he needs to be added to the transfer list. All these real players get added to the transfer list first. Except McLaughlin because he's a 70 overall and he, he could be decent for us. We go to the worst players in the world who are Wiggins and Eagles. They, they will be now transfer listed. Holy shit, we've got a new youth player who's crap. Yeah, these guys completely just transfer list them all. Hibbert, we can't actually transfer list. Seabright, how crap is he? Ryan Seabright, how can they make players so bad? And who's this? David Tomlin. Yep, transfer list him as well. And I think we're done. So, hopefully we can get rid of that dead wood. And just free up some of that wage budget. And then bring in more free agents, of course. Also, if we're going to sell like our top goalkeeper, we're going to have to find a goalkeeper from somewhere. Yeah, contract offer accepted by that 70 overall striker. Only 17 years old. He'll become a great player when he's older, even though he's got two-star weak foot. Oh, yes, all these contract offers are accepted. Lovely. Joe Sadler's in. Afri Ashiong. And Jamie Alsop. And that has dinted the wage budget significantly. 
We got 3.4 thousand pounds to play with. That's the wage budget per week. Try and get a goalkeeper for that. We're basically looking at these two because they're 24 and 68 apiece. It's basically whoever's got the best goalkeeping attributes, he's not bad. Can we actually compare them? Yes, we can. So, we've got Julio Zeshin against Ivan Munyaingonu. Two brilliant names. And it's Zeshin who beats Goni in the attributes. We'll have a look at their physical presence. And Goni beats Zeshin on the physical presence. Ooh, and the weak foot. No, we're going for Munyain Goni. Six foot eight goalkeeper. How can you not have a six foot eight goalkeeper? We're going to have to offer him a tad less than what he wants at £3,400 a week, three years in length, and a squad roll of crucial first team player. I really do doubt that he'll actually accept that, but we never know. So this is the counter offer received by Munyain Goni. He wants £4,000 wage, obviously. So he does want to come to the club, that's that's the good news, but we do have to shift someone before we can, like, give him a contract. Oh, please, someone buy my players. Yes, transfer offer. As soon as I said that, you can have Christian Thewis. I am not going to argue with the price that you offer me. Player sold, Christian Thewis. That means that I think we have just about enough to get the new goalkeeper in. Munyaingoni to the contract offer, please. Crucial first team player, three years, £4,000 per week. Oh yes, contract offer accepted. That's what we like to see. We have improved the team significantly already. We shall just add these players to the first team right now. It's gone from one star to two and a half star. How long has Fabrice Mwamba been in charge? About 13 days, if that. He's already working his magic. So we got Sadler at right back. Um, that means... Uh, I like to play him left back. Because Ellington's absolutely woeful. Jamie Alsop, the madly quick winger. He can replace Mangan. Blaswich, we know where he's going. Striker. Titchener drops to the reserve, so Buddle goes to the subs. Ashong, centre mid. He will replace the worst centre mid that we've got, who is Scott Mattison. Oh, yes. I am liking that squad already. That is looking a much stronger squad. That is looking a squad ready for League One. A strong season looms for Fleetwood Town. Their key player is Joe Sadler. Alex Wiggins, transfer offer. 44 centre attacking mid. Goodbye. Just goodbye. You are not needed. Similar match against Anderlecht. We are going to get our asses handed to us. Oh, I'd rather not look at this score to be honest. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! We've just won Anderlecht! Vegard Hangerland, love the name. 68 overall. Pretty pacey. Mentals are not good. Finishing at 70, I pressed the wrong analog stick again. Shot power 71, lovely. 6 foot, weak foot of 5 star. Four star skill moves. Let's throw Vagard Hangland into the mix. That'll scare defences shitless. Let's take Mark Douglas out of the team. That's the person that we don't want. We'll just put Buddle there for the uh, for the time being. We've got a left winger, but we haven't got a right winger. Wow, this is gonna be one fucking customized formation this. <laughs> Look at our formation. I'm keeping it because that is the best formation for me to play at the moment. 
Contract offer accepted by Vegard Hangeland. That's a striker in. Celebrations! Oh my god, Sederberg's being sold! Oh no! No, that is not on! I'm going to have to, before we play the first game, I'm going to have to show you the players who have moved from Chesterfield in the time that I have not been Chesterfield boss. Um, what? I got them all in my shortlist! Oh my god, I'm so pissed off! I am so pissed off! I had this save all sorted and I'd like put all my Chesterfield players in the shortlist and they fucking disappeared off the shortlist. FIFA is so shit. Oh, wow. That took me a good 30 minutes. 30 minutes of wasted time. 30 minutes that I could have been sleeping. Fuck you, FIFA. We're just going to have a look at like the top players. And I'll show you the ones who have moved from the top players. Jacopo Ramiz has moved. Um, I think Torres Peloto has moved as well. Pescopo's top, obviously, he's the best player in the world right now. He's still at Chesterfield, you know, loyal after Muamba clipped him over the head for wanting to move in uh, the championship. Johan Pereira is still at Chesterfield. Jacopo Ramizzi has moved to Real Madrid. Mark Halfar, like a legend, stayed at Chesterfield. Rafael Marquez Torres Peloto, like I said, he has moved to Inter Milan. Florian Werner moved to Real Madrid, which is annoying to be honest because I thought that he had a very, very good future at Chesterfield ahead of him. I can't believe we're going to have to keep an eye on the old Chesterfield players by searching the names one by one. So there are a few players who have made the moves away from Chesterfield. Quite sad really, isn't it? Oh wait, this is the worst one. I've just I've just thought of it in my mind. I completely forgot. Blanked out. But you guys will not like this. You guys will not like this. Ross Ball has moved to that's, that was a pathetic drum roll, by the way. FC Porto. Yes. Let's go. First match of the season. First match of this new U Squad Legends. Oh, U Squad Legends 2, guys. Whoa. Whoa. That guy's big. <laughs> so this is it. A return to League 2 football for Fabrice Mwamba. Ready to make more youth squad legends. Oh, yes! Yes! Some amazing football there. Some amazing skill. And it should be Blaswich to score the first Fleetwood Town goal. Yes, it is! Blaswich. Blast home the penalty. It's 1 0 to Fleetwood. What a great start. Here's Sadlock. He's quick, isn't he? Jesus. There you go. Also, Hughes now. Oh, wow. The keeper's just done Superman on us. And it. Win the header, get it out, get it clear. No nonsense defending. Get it clear. Head it out. Get it fucking clear. Jeez. Get it clear. Die. Nice. Nice defending. Not a great pass out, but nice defending. Oh, yes. Blocking of the highest order. Blasvich. He's also. Look who's free. It's Blasvich. It's Kinsella. Now that is a great goal. Teamwork at its finest. We're well on the way to the first point. The first win. Look at that defending. That is dedication. Oh, bollocks. Well, that, that was just my fault. You don't give that much space to any kind of striker. Because they'll just score. 
Yeah! That's the win. It's 2-1 to Fleetwood Town. Helped on by the cheering crowd. That's the first win. And I'm sure it isn't the last. So I'm done. This is Cuts of Gaming. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.